Nothing oh. not good enough for you ever. Go find some other. Don't do that to me, okay? Uh-uh, these two need to go ahead and call it quits. This is what it looks like when it's not working. Nicole and Mahmood get into another intense fight. This time, the altercation is in public, in the streets of Egypt. And you know with the social rules of Egyptian culture, seeing something like this is rare. Look at the people in the back staring. I just want you to leave me alone. Okay, go alone. I will. Okay, go. Wait, did he just buck at her? What is this? The Wild Wild West? Now let me welcome everybody to the Wild Wild West. They look like enemies. We'll get into what led up to Nicole and Mahmood's argument this time around, and what an extremely embarrassed Mahmood is threatening to do next. I will wait for five minutes. If you not come, we do first. I don't give a whatever okay, you want to do. Just go. Whew, let's talk about it. Hey 90 Day Fans fam, it's Melicia. Before we get into Nicole and Mahmood, I want to give you an update on Debbie and Usama, or as she likes to call him, Osama. I'll want to fix this. I still got a lot to think about, Osama. Quick refresh, last episode, Usama hurt Miss Debbie's feelings and shocked us when he told her on the day she arrived in Morocco that he wants her to go back to the States in a month or two when she thought she was moving to Morocco indefinitely. I didn't come over here to be disrespected like that. I know that's right. This week's episode picks back up on them the next morning and Usama is apologizing, saying his words literally got lost in translation. Last night it was a mis misunderstood in the translations and you know, we put like a plan in general, but we didn't focus on the detail. Yeah, it's not a very good excuse. Well, at least in this case, it isn't. I think Usama forgot what he admitted to last night. Because I need to live with you in reality to see if you accept me in reality, if me accept you in reality. Why couldn't you tell me, gee, Debbie, why don't you come and I'll see if I can accept you in reality or not? Why didn't you say something like that? Because if I said to you this, he wouldn't just come. But don't worry, Debbie calls him out on it. You know that I want to marry you, right? I guess. It's true, yep, it will happen. Last night you said, uh, you said that. The drama department summer program. Oh, I'm just Sage. It's okay. Don't get emotional. Yep, yep, yep. Look, like at look, at never, look at me, look at me. Look at me. Look at me on social media. Had you told me that, and you said, well, that's why I didn't tell you. And it's like, you took something away from me yesterday, and you know, I need to feel trust again. I know. Okay. Yeah. And I'm sorry for last night because I didn't mean what I said, and you know me very, very well. I thought it was a misunderstanding. Anywho, Miss Debbie forgives Usama. And you can prove that uh, you yeah. love me? Yep, I will prove that, that I love you in real life. He's being so apologetic, and, and you know me, it's like, I'm thinking, okay, you know, let me cut him some slack. Maybe it was miscommunication. She goes on to say that she didn't come this far to give up, but she also admits it's hard to rebuild trust, and she isn't sure if they can do that. Fast forward, after all the drama settles, Usama takes Miss Debbie on a beach date, and she has the time of her life. Oh! Oh my gosh. gosh. Hey, hey. Can they want the way the camel? Are you nice, boy? Be careful oh, with the camel. I love you, camel. Can, I, can we please, please? Yep, yep, please. yep, 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 yep. Do they got a seat belt? <laughs> Actually, I'm not mad at that question. Do they got a seat belt? What? A seat belt? Or... Who invited you, Usama said, I'll be a seat belt. Help me up, Osama. Look at me, I'm on a camel. Help! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, Osama, you're too skinny to hold on to. Just on me. Help! 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 Debbie sounds like cats who are mating. Have you ever 
heard the sound of cats mating. It is disturbing. I know this is random, but if you know, you know. <laughs> 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 that camel is probably like, what is going on on my back? Crazy woman. <laughs> Don't let me go nowhere. Oh my gosh, oh. look at it. <laughs> Where are the cameras? Please. Baby, when she likes the, the camel, I mean, I feel very, very funny and very happy because she just let the inner girl inside of her just, I mean, get alive again. Yeah. That's that Sugar Hill Georgia coming out of Miss Debbie. Yeah. Because she is crazy, but this is the reason why making me love her because I'm crazy too. I'm on a camel. <laughs> oh, she makes me want to ride a camel. After they finish, Debbie asked Usama if he's embarrassed by her. And he said something really sweet. He's good with his words when he wants to be. When I am with you, I don't care about what's around me because I don't see anything around me. So you, I didn't embarrass you because... No, 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 you don't. I, I don't Trust me, those do because that. I want to see you happy. Because I would never, never want you to be ashamed of me. You always forget my words. Because I, I told you, when I see you, nothing around me is exists. Because I see only you. Because you. if I fall or I get sick or something happens to me, I turn around, I will find family and you. Not those people. This is why I don't get about the judgment of the people. That's real. Why would you allow people who you aren't even close to to make you feel ashamed of someone who is always there for you? Thank you for, for being strong like that. Thank you. No, it's not about strong. It's love. This is love. All right. Enough of those two for now. Let's move on to Nicole and Mahmood, who can't seem to get it together when it comes to compromising on their cultural and religious differences. Last night, when we got back from Mahmoud's uncle's house, we agreed to just stop talking about our problems for now because we're exhausted. Quick refresh, this episode picks up the day after Nicole threatened to leave him by packing her bags. They were both upset because they couldn't find common ground on how Nicole should dress as Mahmoud's wife. But as she said for now, they are letting it go. Maybe the answer to this crisis is prayer. Their day starts off nice. Mahmoud was teaching Nicole how to pray the Islamic way, which is something he's been wanting her to do more often. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. He starts um, like saying the, the, the prayer in the, the most beautiful voice, and I've never heard it before. And I, it was just moments like these that just remind me how much I love him, and he's always so full of surprises. <laughs> I think it's beautiful to be that devoted to something. I actually feel really close to him in this moment. Well, I hope she enjoyed it while it lasted. Fast forward, these two decide to go to the pool because it's a hot day. But wearing a burkini gives Nicole a lot of anxiety. One of my favorite things is swimming. I really like to be near the water and in the water. And it's really been an issue because of the swimsuit that uh, Mahmoud makes me wear. You know, you're the only person I would do this for. I know, honey. I'm ready to do anything for you. Okay. Do you have to wear... I mean, this is a weird question. Do you have to wear something under it? Do you? I'm gonna need him to stop rolling his eyes like that. She asked a legit question. What? I don't know. You don't know? No. Well, I need to know. I don't know. Girl, don't follow him. Let him have his attitude. Mahmoud. <laughs> What, what did I do now? Nothing. Just go get ready. Just get ready? Yeah. You seem to be kind of mad. No, I'm not mad. Yes, he is. He is stressed. He went and got a cigarette and everything. Go get hot. You close your honey. Okay. I told you, they put honey, sweetheart, oh my love, at the end of all these sentences where they're slick snapping at each other. I don't get my mood's behavior right now. How is Nicole supposed to know these things? If you're gonna get frustrated during a teachable moment, why did you marry someone so different from you? Honestly, y'all are gonna be learning from each other for the rest of your life. Well, that's if this works out. I get so tired of him always getting so mad at me and it's like he, he really resents me for being American, I think. Once they get to the pool, Nicole opens up about how swimming was once something that made her feel free. 
Now it reminds her of how much she's not being herself. Not long after I married him, Mahmoud and I were at the Red Sea, and there were a lot of tourists wearing a bikini or just like a one-piece suit, whatever, just normal. I remember feeling jealous, like that was how I used to be, and then I've been like kind of taken from that life, and then this is my new life, and I'm just not used to it, and I don't like it that much, you know? I don't like, I don't like to wear that. Well, it's the life you chose, Nicole, but it's also not too late to choose you. Nicole goes in the ladies' room to change into her swimwear. And next thing we see is Nicole looking pitiful in her burkini. I'm choosing not to wear the, the hijab part of this uh, bathing swimsuit because uh, I don't wear hijab. I'm, I'm not going to wear hijab and I won't wear hijab. I don't cover my hair. I stand in my power. Nicole gets to the pool and Mahmoud was overjoyed to see her in her burkini. And he praised her for being so strong. You'll need your country, leave everybody. Change your clothes, change your mind about things. This is all like, I, I don't know if I'm in your situation I can do or not. I'm gonna need him to be more consistent with that compassionate energy. They start to swim and for once, we see Nicole and Mahmoud truly enjoying one another without being passive aggressive. <laughs> Although they are playing a bit rough with each other, <laughs> but it's cute, I guess. <laughs> the peace doesn't last long though, because emotions you bury will come to the surface. It's just always something, I'm tired of it. Nicole, stop doing that, okay? Apparently, Something set my mood off while the cameras weren't rolling. Nicole told producers she's been trying to please my mood all day, but when they were changing out of their swimsuits, he started, quote, acting funny. I asked him what's wrong, and he said something passive aggressive to me, like, like you, like you care anyway. I don't know why he said it, but I think it was totally uncalled for. Can you stop now? And it seems like nothing. It seems like what he said was sort of like a nothing, but it had been building. And uh, I, I just, I had enough. And I just snapped. Nicole makes her way to the street, trying to get away from my mood, who keeps asking for clarification on what he did. What about I did you, tell everything me what I did. About tell me what I did now. Everything about tell me what I did to you now. Tell me exactly what I did. Just always picking at me, and I'm tired Give of it. Give me what I did exactly here. Just me. Just me alone. I need to know what I did there. Just leave me alone. Nicole tries to walk off again, and that's when things escalate. I'm not going around like that the street, okay? Hmm? What? You, where do you go now? I, I don't know. Who cares? Just leave me alone. Yeah, just, just, just stop. Leave me alone. Stop trying to control her, Mahmoud. Leave her alone. Let her walk. She has a camera with her, so she's safe. It's not like she's not going to come home. Where else is she gonna go? Every single second, like of every day that I've been here so far, it's just you picking at me. Like pick, 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 pick. Wait, because pick, 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 pick. Yeah, so constantly. Hard. Nothing oh. not good enough for you ever. Go find some other Don't do that to me, okay? Let me go. Okay, right. I won't let you go. Let's go home. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Like, I just want you to leave me alone. Okay, go alone. I will. Okay, go. He said, I give up. Okay, go. I'm done. I'm done. I don't understand like what happened if I have a different wife, if she was to me. No way. No way she's yelling at me or wrong people. She's never come to me. After they took a quick breath, Mahmoud goes and finds Nicole at a shop. And she still refuses to go home. That's when he tells her she has to make a choice. You have to choose. You want to go home and talk? No. So you want to look for it? Uh, I, do, I don't want to be anywhere near you right now. I'm not going to make I'm, any decisions I'm, I right told now you, about you. No, no, no you have to. You don't to. get to control me anymore, Mahmoud. I'm tired uh, of your bull OK, so I will wait for five minutes. If you not come, we do first. I don't give a whatever okay, you want to do. Five. Just go. Mahmoud waits those five minutes, and Nicole does not show up. I'm not sure how I want to move forward, or if I can move forward, or what forward means. I don't know right now. I mean, until I met him, I was single for like 10 years. 
And I, I don't answer to anybody, so it's really hard for all of a sudden this, like, he's nine years younger than me or something. He thinks he can tell me what to do, and I let him. I let him. He's nine years younger than her. How did I forget that? He says he's, he didn't do anything to me. Uh, he hopes I find someone right for me. And if I didn't go with him in the Uber, then we were going to be divorced. I just, like, don't have anything left in me at the moment. Mahmoud gets in an Uber and drives off. So I guess that means they're getting a divorce. Maybe not. They've thrown that word around a few times. We'll see. As I get older, the more I am realizing that the most valuable thing I can have, aside from my health, is my peace. A romantic relationship is not like a family member. It's someone you choose to be with. And if my romantic relationship isn't gonna be enjoyable at least 90% of the time, at least, I don't want it. I'm not even sure if Nicole has been over there for a week yet, and they've been constantly fighting. Also, why be in a relationship where you feel like you have to dim down the parts that you love about yourself? And why have a partner who makes you feel as if something is wrong with those parts that you love. Hmm. When it comes to these two, I hope they both eventually decide to choose peace. <sighs> All right, well next week, a major moment is happening. Isabel's parents react to Gabe telling them he is transgender. Well, what would you like to know? ¿Qué te gustaría saber? Todo, eh, toda la historia. Yo nunca lo esperaba. Nunca me imaginé tal situación. Me dejaste sin palabras. Oh, I know they have a lot of questions. All right, 90 Day Fans fam, make sure you stick with ET because we are covering it all. I will see you next time.